everyone, my name is Maria Sebes and I am Professor Angelita Valerio's Chicano 54 class and today I will be presenting you my altar. I chose to do my altar on Roberto Gomez Bolanos. He was not only an actor but as well as a film director, television director, playwright, and author. He was considered one of the most important humorists in Latin America. He was widely known for writing and starring in El Chavo and El Chapulín Colorado. The reason I chose him was because the humor and the wild adventures he provided has left a long lasting impact on the Latino community. His stories have reached many generations and have been and have become a keepsake to us all. Okay, so for the next part, I'll be showing you the pictures that are on my ofrenda. And the first one I want to talk about is this one right here. It is a photo from 2011 which shows Roberto and his wife Florinda Mesa at the 25th Annual Hispanic Heritage Awards at the John F. Kennedy Center in Washington. His wife was actually his co-star. She played Doña Florinda and El Chavo de Ocho. This next one right here, even though when his shows wrapped up in the 90s, he was still hard at work. He wrote multiple books in which he presented a memoir called El Dario del Chavo de Ocho, his autobiography, Without Wanting to Want, and his book of poetry, Inta de También Podemos. He never stopped writing as he still continued working on countless of television programs and also worked on his animated series, as pictured here. The next one I will show you is this one, which was, I think is really interesting about him, is that he gave back um, to his community as he created the Chespirito Foundation in 2007. It is dedicated to serving the needs of Mexican children with limited economic resources. The foundation provides social support and guidance to organizations. This next one right here, we're talking about one of his iconic characters, which is El Chapurín Colorado. Um, which was about an unusual superhero who is goofy and beats up bad guys with sheer luck. The show was first televised in the 1970. In 1970, Chapulín's weapon of choice was a mallet, and he used a pill that shrank him about to eight inches tall. The second one I will show you is him and his iconic costume from Chavo de Ocho, which came about a year later, which was about a poor eight-year-old boy who lived alone in a barrel. The show is a major success, bringing in millions of views and has been translated into more than 50 languages. It is currently broadcasting in more than 20 countries. The last one right here, which is awesome, the then president of Mexico, Vicente Fox, presented Chesperito with stamps that were created by the Mexican Postal Service as part of the series Popular Idols on Mexican Television. The second set of three stamps was El Chavo de Ocho and two from El Chapulín Colorado. The president even told him that Mexico is better known in the world because the world knows you, which is pretty awesome. So everything on Ofrenda is handmade. I did various of flowers in different colors and sizes. Here are just a few. I also made like a bouquet of flowers with them in vibrant colors. I did a crown, also a crown of flowers. I also did the skull. This was my favorite skull to make as it has his um initials here and also put his little iconic antennas here and then i also created these two skulls over here um something really cool while i was writing his biography is that his nickname um Jesperito, actually came from a director who was so impressed by his screenplays he started calling him little shakespeare because he was just that impressed with him Alter was really fun to do as I could learn so much about his life and legacy. I think having to do everything that made makes the altar even more special and even more meaningful because I put that extra care into it. I really hoped everyone enjoyed it and I hope this brought back some childhood memories.